Well, good evening, Southeast Texas. A chance of showers and a few thunderstorms in our forecast coming up by tomorrow morning. As finally, the long awaited cold front will arrive. We'll have a pretty good chance of that. About a 60% coverage coming up. Now, as we head into the weekend, the first half of next week looking beautiful, much, much cooler. We'll have highs only in the 70s with low humidity this weekend. Lows will be in the 50s in the Triangle and some upper 40s in the East Texas Lakes area. Going to be very, very nice across Southeast Texas. What's not nice, the allergy report up again, the grass and weed category, the tree down a little bit, and also the mold. It's on the high side as well. Rain coverage is standing around 60%, especially tomorrow morning right after daybreak. Now once some showers and a few moderate thunder showers move through, we'll still have some periods of light rain across Southeast Texas as well. So lots of clouds in the forecast tomorrow, but we need as much rain as we can get because it looks pretty dry as we head into next week. Another slight chance toward next Wednesday and Thursday, maybe even to early Friday as well. Temperatures, well, that's the big weather story. Of course, been well above normal for weeks and months, but that'll be changing as we head into the weekend. Front comes through, front number one of two fronts, one tomorrow with a chance of rain. Second front, it's going to be a dry front, going to really usher in the nice dry air. But look at these high temperatures. 70s and then eventually 80s next week. That is below normal. Look at those lows. Very, very nice. 11 degrees below normal Monday morning down to 53 in the triangle. Some upper 40s in the lakes area. Atmospheric moisture. Well, we don't have a problem there. We have plenty of moisture in place. Just waiting on that front to lift it to give us a chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially in the morning. Moisture levels begin to drop on Friday. We'll keep rain out of the forecast for Friday, but still lots of clouds as we head into Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Very little, if any, moisture in the atmosphere, and it comes back a little bit toward the end of next week. And of course, temperatures in the 80s will be dropping, though, throughout the night into the 70s. Don't see any real rain chances overnight, maybe a 20% coverage. Can't rule out a couple of showers, okay? But the best chance of storms and showers will be around daybreak in the lakes, a little bit after in the Triangle. And there's the big trough of low pressure. Been waiting on this since springtime. Remember we had the big heat dome over us for months and months. Now big troughs coming in. It's a dip in the jet stream. Cold air aloft pulls cool air out of Canada and the Rockies. So we need that'll help push that front through here tomorrow and a dry front coming up by Friday night into Saturday. Once again, Friday, we're still going to have lots of clouds, but I think rain will stay away as drying will take place from the north. Trough comes in looking beautiful, as you'll see just a moment on our 10 day forecast. Future cast a few widely scattered showers possible tonight, but here come the thunderstorms roaring down. Hopefully no severe weather right now. This line should weaken a little bit as it works in, but notice at 7 a.m. in the morning, some rains from Burkeville to Silsby back to Houston. These will move on through the triangle. I'm hoping for a half to one inch of rain. That ain't near enough, but it's better than nothing, and that would be nice because once the front comes through, we'll start seeing some drying from the north, mainly just some patchy light rain in the afternoon. And as we head into tomorrow evening, temperatures will feel much better with that northerly wind. Marine forecast, some showers and thunderstorms, especially tomorrow. Seas up to about three feet. Water temperature down to 83. That's nice. Water is starting to drop as well as far as those temperatures go. 70 tonight in the lakes area, okay? Because you're going to have some rain cooled air around 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, across the board, 50% lakes, 30 in inland southeast Texas, still warm in the inland areas, and the triangle mid 70s. 30% for the triangle in inland southeast Texas. Notice your cities here, notice your towns. Not as many on there to cover you guys as much as we can. And for tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms, especially in the morning. Hopefully, no severe weather. We'll keep an eye on it. 60% in the morning coverage of showers and storms in the triangle. Nice tomorrow. We'll rebound to the mid 80s, not till late in the day. Inland Southeast Texas, mid 80s. 70 to 80 percent coverage there for the lakes. 80 percent, especially in the morning. Things will wind down throughout the late morning into the afternoon hours. 10 day forecast showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning will dry out Friday, but still lots of low level moisture, a lot of low level clouds, but cooler. Low near 70, high only in the 80s Friday. Look at Saturday. Well, the weekend looks beautiful. Lots of sun. 64 when you wake up Saturday morning. High of only 78. How long has it been since we've had 70s for highs in southeast Texas? Been a long time. 77 on Sunday after a morning low of 54. That's going to be nice. Some upper 40s, by the way, in the lakes Sunday, Monday morning. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit warmer in the afternoon, but still very, very nice in the morning. And the moisture does come back, though, toward the latter half of next week with another front. We'll have a slight chance of rain next Thursday and Friday. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Don't forget to download our app and anything weather 24 hours a day. Be sure to go to 12newsnow.com.